Excellencies, Dr. Shekhun, distinguished guests and honorable friends, ladies and gentlemen, allow me at the outset to thank most sincerely Ambassador Hannash and Dr. Shekhun for this excellent initiative in organizing this meeting, which provides us with an excellent opportunity to discuss the prospects of the Algerian-American economic ties. I also thank you all most warmly for attending this meeting to discuss precisely this topic. I met yesterday Secretary Blinken, with whom I had a very fruitful exchange, as candid, as full of expectations, confidence, and optimism. And let me tell you that you have been, you have been, the subject of a good deal of our conversation. Indeed, we agreed on the need to strengthen the presence of American investors in Algeria, who I believe can play a decisive role in modernizing energizing and diversifying our economy while fostering closer the ties between our two friendly nations. So here I am standing before you as a strong advocate for the prosperous future that lies ahead a future that can be achieved through building strong and vibrant partnership. Algeria is truly undergoing a renaissance under the leadership of President Abdel Majid Taboun, who launched a vast program of political and economic reforms. But before discussing with you these economic reforms, their scope and their aims, allow me to picture you, the new Algeria, with some figures. After a slowdown in growth in 2020 and 2021, due mainly to the COVID-19 pandemic and the fall in hydrocarbon prices on the international market, the national economy has known vigorous growth in 2000. 22, with a rate of 4.7%, while that of non-hydrocarbon GDP reached 3.2% in the same year, 2022. By the same token, Algeria exports increased in 2022 reaching their highest level in 10 years, counting $68.7 billion. The current account surplus increased in the second half of 2022, reaching 9.5% of the GDP 
allowing foreign exchange reserves to increase to the level of 61.7 billion. Algeria, Algeria's trade balance reached a surplus of US dollar 20.21 billion at the end of 2022 against 1.1 billion US dollars the previous year. Exports in non-hydrocarbon registered a consequent increase which rose from 5 billion US dollars in 2021 to 7 billion in 2022. Inflation, in spite of the rise in import prices, was contained at 9.8% in the first quarter of 2023. In order to reduce it further, the Bank of Algeria initiated another appreciation of the dinar in the second half of 2023. The budget deficit narrowed in 2022, although public spending absorbed the largest part of the increase in hydrocarbon revenues. In addition to the sharp increase in hydrocarbon revenues. There was a moderate recovery in tax revenues supported by the new dynamism of the national economy. The overall treasury deficit fell from 7.2% of GDP in 2021 to 2.9% in 2022. At the same time, public savings jumped to 8.1% of the GDP and public debt fell to 55.6% of GDP. For more than 15 years, Foreign debt has almost ceased to exist in Algeria's economic landscape. While those figures attest to the country's sound economic and financial health, the volatility of oil prices recalls the imperative of economic diversification in Algeria. Fully aware of this reality of our weaknesses and the pivotal role foreign investment can play to make a reality of this diversification of our economy, the Algerian government undertook important reforms and far-reaching structural changes in its economic environment to build up a friendly business climate in line with the expectations of foreign investors. In this regard, the government embarked on an ambitious policy of stimulating private and foreign investment, in particular through a new law on hydrocarbons adopted in 2019, the partial lifting of limits on foreign shareholding as of 2020, a new investment law adopted in 2022, followed by a new banking and monetary law in 2023. Other legal instruments related to the business climate are in the process of being adopted, such as the Public Procurement 
code, the draft law on land, or the draft of a new customs code. Regarding particularly investment attraction and development, the new law published in July 2022 constitutes a crucial, a crucial step in improving the business climate. Based on the cardinal principles of transparency, fair treatment, security and legal stability, this new legal instrument has set up a new agency, the National, the National Agency for the Promotion of, of Investment, whose mission is to take charge of all aspects related to investment. In order to combat red tape in all its sources and forms, which generate additional costs and burdens for investors, that agency has digitalized the entire investment process. An automatic system has been created through an electronic platform already operational with the aim to allow the registration of projects and access the benefits and advantages attached to them. Today, there is a single desk for foreign investments, enabling foreign investors to complete all the necessary formalities and procedures. For investors trust the right to appeal to the High National Commission for Investment placed under the authority of the President of the Republic himself has been enshrined. <coughs> this, this underlines the high importance attached by the highest authorities to the protection of foreign investment. In terms of benefits, the new investment law offers countless advantages in terms of tax and customs exemptions depending on the nature of the project. In brief, the further south the project is located, the more jobs it creates, the more tax benefits it enjoys. And I am happy to report that all these reforms were praised and highlighted in the 2023 Investment Climate Statement published by the Department of State on July 26, 2023. Besides the government's efforts and commitment to promote a business-friendly environment, Algeria enjoys unique comparative advantages in the region. The nation's strategic geographic location in North Africa serves as a gateway to both Europe, Africa, and the Arab world, offering unparalleled access to vast markets and trade opportunities. Aware of the potential offered by its geographic, geographical location, the government has strengthened this advantage with the free trade agreements with Africa, the European Union, and the Arab world. And this makes my country a pivotal player in the access to neighboring markets. To further consolidate this asset, we have undertaken the construction of new ports, which will be connected to other African countries through roads with the Trans-Saharan Highway and by train with a plan to construct a total of 12,000 
500 kilometers of railways connecting Algeria to Mauritania, Tunisia, Mali, Niger, Chad, and Nigeria. In the same spirit, we are increasing our air connections with African and European countries in order to make trade more fluid. Moreover, Algeria boasts a young, talented, and cost-effective workforce that is eager to contribute to the development of our nation. Energy has been the field, the main field of cooperation between Algeria and the United States. More than 90% of American investments are made in energy sector. A real success story of 40 years, which began in the 60s and has proven highly profitable to our two countries ever since. However, I am convinced that the best is yet to come. Algeria, with its vast reserves of natural gas and re renewable energy potential, stands as a beacon of opportunity in the realm of energy production. The United States has a technological and the economic powerhouse can bring to the table technology, innovation, and expertise. While we are really proud of the success of our bilateral energy cooperation, we need to be ambitious in opening up new horizons. For instance, Algeria is looking forward to unlock the, pot the, the potential of other resources, such as steel, zinc, phosphate, and the rare earth elements. These resources provide a solid foundation for investment across multiple industries, from energy and petrochemicals to agriculture, railways, and manufacturing. Furthermore, the agricultural sector presents an untapped opportunity for investors, especially in the southern part of the country, where the objective is to make 3 million hectares ready for investment at large scales. Investment in modern farming techniques irrigation systems, and agro-processing facilities can yield substantial returns and uplift local communities. Similarly, startup in Algeria has a huge potential that is just waiting to be tapped. And the same goes for information technologies and healthcare. In conclusion, Investing in Algeria means investing in the future. Investing in Algeria means being at a unique rendezvous with a country that is finally unleashing all its potential in order to be a credible and reliable player in the world economy. Investing in Algeria means betting safely on a land full of possibilities and promises. The momentum is there. All the lights are green. The only trigger we are still missing is you the business community to be more assertive 
and to be more confident in your vision of Algeria and its future economic development. Thank you very much for your kind attention.